Zord and the Scoob is the newest entry in the Scooby-Doo film franchise. Although I had a decent amount of issues with Happy Halloween Scooby-Doo, it did help to reinvigorate my hope for the movies after the disastrous Scoob. Plus, with the pretty fun trailer for this film, I found myself pretty excited to see the end result. And now, after much deliberation, I can safely say that this movie is super enjoyable. Most of my issues with Happy Halloween Scooby-Doo aren't present in this movie. It's a single one-off adventure that doesn't rely on cameos and tie-in characters, has great character moments for all of the gang, and is really funny all the way through. There is still a joke here or there that feels like the writers don't necessarily understand the concept they are joking about, but the vast majority of the humor works exceedingly well, or maybe I'm just a sucker for jokes about life being a simulation. Velma continues to probably be the weakest of the gang in this movie, however I really like a lot of what they do with her. The personality tweaks are interesting, her constant denial of ideas that are supernatural really fits with the scenario well this time around, and she isn't mean to any of the other gang in this movie, which is pretty refreshing. Plus, she has some great dialogue with Merlin. Slowly but surely, she is improving as a character and I hope to view her as on par with the rest of the gang soon. As a whole, the voice acting front was super strong in this movie. I absolutely loved Nick Frost as Merlin, and his lines were always delivered exceptionally. It really made a lot of the jokes work that might not have worked if the voice actor wasn't as talented. Jason Isaacs as well was phenomenal as King Arthur, and the back and forth he had with Matthew Lillard's Shaggy was hysterical. The regular gang returns, and I'm really enjoying all the current performers. While most have been doing it for years and years at this point, I have really begun to enjoy Kate Micucci's presence as Velma. I think her natural voice embodies the role super well. When viewing the animation, most of it is on par with the previous few entries except for a few moments scattered throughout when it tends to dip in quality. Occasionally, I found myself noticing that the eyes looked really off in a lot of uh, wider shots. It isn't as present in other characters except for Fred. I felt like every fucking three scenes I would look at Fred and he would just look a little strange. It's not a huge deal, but it was something that I continuously noticed. The big issue, animation-wise in this film, comes near the end, near the climax of this film, where a character is in a three second shot where they just replaced him with a character that wasn't even supposed to be in the scene. It is like a huge hiccup in production and I'm shocked it made it to the final product. It doesn't ruin the movie for me, but it was more shocking than anything else. If I had one other complaint about the movie without diving into spoilers, I would say I wish Shaggy and Scooby had more to do in this film. From the trailer and the opening, it feels like this would be very much Shaggy's movie. But he's sidelined quite a bit, and Scooby doesn't even feel present for a decent chunk of the movie. He's there, you can see him in the background, but it doesn't really feel like a Scooby-Doo movie without Scooby making wisecracks or doing something stupid. Now don't get me wrong, the other characters have some great moments in this film, and so do Shaggy and Scooby, but in my opinion, there can never be enough of those two. In closing, The Sword and the Scoob rules. It is a fun and refreshing adventure with competently written humor and a pretty interesting storyline. It's nowhere near my favorite Scooby movie, but I had an absolute blast with it. That's why I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Because despite its flaws, it's a Scooby-Doo movie and I love Scooby-Doo movies. If you like this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I would really love to know what's your favorite Scooby-Doo movie, and what are your thoughts on this movie. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a glorious day. Goodbye!